Um, first off, there's a lot of movement and momentum, a lot of energies um, playing out across both of these two spreads. So I feel almost like you guys are, you know, really moving things along, getting life started and getting yourself on track, okay? You're feeling very inspired for this week, inspired to get projects done, to get things started, and to kind of rally people to get on board. And so in your love relationship sector, um, I do see two people that you're dealing with. And at the center of the spread, we have here the two of pentacles. This is sort of like mutual wealth, okay? Um, two people pooling their resources together in order to purchase something. It could be a vehicle. It could be a house. It could be leasing an apartment. It could also be, you know, buying new property, buying investment property, starting a business together, and things like that. And either way, it indicates, you know, not so much juggling, but... Um, two options that might be on the table for you when it comes to love, but also solidifying um, a relationship with another person where the two of you kind of pull together your resources to, you know, officially become a couple. So it's like pooling resources, having bank, say, joint bank accounts, moving in together, paying from the same bank account. So I feel like there is a major escalation in the relationship sector, and I feel like the two of you could potentially, um, it's like you're love partners and you're also trying to partner up in order to get something moving, to, to own a business even. Um, the way that you come to the, the, the week, we have here the six, of, the six of Swords. This is a card greatly about um, steering yourself away from a very turbulent past, okay? Um, your partner sees you as someone who has been through a lot of trials and tribulations in your own life. And you're seen as someone who's very self-made. You're independent. You have a lot of knowledge about a lot of things. And this is a card greatly about, you know, not losing ourselves and having a good sense of direction and also a good sense of faith that everything is going to be okay, everything is going to work itself out. So you can see the ship has been battered by the storms. And, you know, in the past, there has been a lot of turbulence kind of uh, raining upon you. You might have had to, you know, shuffle around from one place to the next. You might have been shuffled around quite a bit as a child. You might not have found a place you can call home as a child, as a young adult. And I see a very strong nomadic energy with this spread where I feel like it's like feeling very restless. Like, what's home for me? Who is my family? Who are the people that I can count on? And there's a little bird in the picture. So that usually indicates that, you know, land is near. There is a place of safety for us right around the horizon, like on the horizon or right around the corner where there's going to be land, there's going to be people, civilization, and just, you know, a place for us to kind of dock our ship and do a little R&R, &R, okay? So your partner sees you as someone who's very strong. You're not broken by all the things that you've experienced in your life, all the setbacks, all the delays, all the, honestly, uh, I feel unfair situations that were thrust upon you, like, against your will. And you come out of that. You, you're, you're mustering up the strength to steer yourself away on a right course towards a place of safety. So they see you as a force to be reckoned with. And they see you as a person that is really strong, really, really divinely guided. And I feel as well, you know, guardian protection, like guardian angel protection. Um, whatever issues, arguments, or, you know, um, that has uh, crept into the relationship, I feel like it's dissipating. You both are now on the same page, okay? And then I also feel like whatever trouble spots you've had to overcome when it comes to getting yourself whole, getting yourself whole again, to rejoin civilization when you dock your ship, you know, at a... Um, um, by shore and rejoin the civilization of people, you're going to be doing it with, with flair and with ease. And so your partner sees you as somebody that, you know, they, they can go through a lot of uh, harsh or difficult times with. And, and they know that 
it won't break you. They know that you will always man up or woman up and, you know, take control of the situation and not be knocked down by life or not be intimidated or not run away. So this is a tremendous amount of hardships and uh, that that someone has endured and it showed their strength of character. The partner you're dealing with, you could be dealing with another fire sign, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. You could also be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With this card, it usually, um, you're, you're with somebody who's very bubbly, who's very courageous, who's also very outdoorsy. I get a teacher vibe with this card. It's somebody that has children or somebody that has teachers, uh, that is a teacher. They're in some type of a profession where they are looking after other people. It could be daycare. It could be, you know, looking up uh, after the students. It could be mentoring, looking after the, the mentees or a coach, somebody that's, uh, you know, shaping young minds, okay? And their presence is, is really greatly felt by you. They're kind of like the catalyst um, to allow this rainbow to kind of manifest itself. So I feel like without this person in your life, life would have been very challenging. Life would have been really hard. And I feel like they, they bring a sense of childlike bewilderment and they bring a sense of hope and optimism into your life. And as a result of it, I feel like you have somebody here with really strong unconditional love that flows mutually from you to them and admiration from them to you. Okay. Um, I feel like financially, things are a little bit rocky between the two of you. Hence, this two of pentacles situation where, you know, juggling finances, shifting money from the uh, savings into the checking, trying to make ends meet, and whatever it, um, whatever financial issues that you've had in the past, I feel like you're selling away from it. And I feel like as a couple, you learn to live with less. You've been through some hard times together. And now you're reaching a state where things are starting to level out. Things are going to get better. And I feel like you both sense that, that. That sense of like, okay, stability coming into the picture. And setting down roots and, you know, having a safe harbor to operate from. So whatever issues that have been plaguing the relationship, either... Financial, I, I see just financial issues, honestly. I don't see third parties. I don't see interference. I just feel like it's um, having to overcome a lot, like, you know, having to relocate multiple times, having to wait for your partner, having to find work in the same cities, having to move from city to, to city, having to move from house to house. And you've been through it all, and I feel like the financial situation is going to get better for, for the both of you. And I also feel as if, you might land two jobs and you're trying to decide, do I stay here with my partner? Do I move somewhere else and hope that my partner will land a job elsewhere and then we can shift gear? Because I feel like you're asking a partner to come see you. Okay? So, page of wands, sending out a message, and the partner is the death card here trying to make a transition in their life they're very very hesitant and they're stuck in this space that is a little bit more barren and you're trying to solicit them come over here get a job over here you can stay with me and I'll take care of you not in the spirit of you know codependence but more so because you know their potential you know their capabilities and you know they can start a new life with you over here even if it's not with you they can still um, have a lot more opportunities where you are. So this is communication, um, telling somebody to get on board with you, and even, you know, if you're dating, um, asking somebody to just go out on a date, give me a try. And I feel like the other person has been through a lot of upheavals in their life, and they are trying to find themselves. They're still on the path trying to figure out who they are, figuring out what they want, figuring out, you know, what life is all about with this death card here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. And um, I feel like there's more prosperity where you are. So you're soliciting them to come see you, to come explore opportunities in, in your city. So there might be even geographical distance between the two of you. But overall, it looks really good where you are, you know, giving ideas to another person. You're steering somebody else away from turbulent waters. And you're also 
greatly inspired uh, by another person and they're kind of like the center of your world you're being pulled into their orbit and I feel like you can't really it, it, it's almost like I, I really don't want to live without this person and so you're trying every trick in the books to um, to get them to be on the same page, get them to come on board, get them to believe you, get them to leave whatever it is they're they're leaving behind because it's not good for them. It's, it's very turbulent to come to where you are. I feel like for others of you, there um, in other areas of your life, there's huge energies here about relocating. Okay, this is like picking up the pieces of our lives. And this is a card about, you know, very f quick, swift communication, but also travel. So it's almost like picking up everything that you're doing here, uprooting and then moving. So I see here a lot of good ideas that are coming through, um, business proposal projects and things like that. Um, for some of you, I feel like contracts regarding a business, okay? So like possibly renting out a venue, a space so that you can uh, use as your business. So like signing contracts, make sure you read between the, um, you read the fine prints. Make sure you make copies of everything. Don't submit original, submit copies and keep the original or at least have backed up copies of, of things, okay? And make sure you read between the lines before you draw contracts because with this, um, um, High Priestess card, what you see is not always what you get, but also people that might be withholding information from you. I also feel as well in the work environment, there is an air sign energy. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. And this is somebody that is a little bit like, um, they're, they're, they're trigger happy. You know, they, they're a little bit of a talker. And not in a bad way, but I feel like they're straightforward and, and forthright and forthcoming. And if you are thinking about doing a business, uh, getting into a business partnership with them, I feel like it's really, really important to outline, you know, um, responsibilities. And it's really important to outline as well boundaries so that boundaries are not breached, so that people know exactly what they're supposed to do. Because this is somebody that takes it upon themselves. They're a little bit bossy and they can be a little bit difficult to, to deal with. And they might rush you into things that you're not ready for. Okay? Not that their, um, um, their intentions are bad. I don't feel like they're a bad person. But they might, you know, tell you, here's, um, they might have too many plans and they can tell you, you know, Here's this opportunity. There's another one. We need to be fast, fast, fast on the uptake. And I feel like they're rushing you when you need, you really need the time to mull it over, to do your research and to, you know, see how you feel about it. And in the meantime, they're rushing you. So for many of you, there are opportunities to partner up with another person, I feel. Possibly with somebody that you're romantically involved with as well to start a business. And, um, I did the reading for cancer and I got the same card in the same position and I shuffled the cards and I was really surprised when this came out for you guys as well so you could be uh, partnering up with someone who is cancerian in nature and I'm also feeling as well that um, it's going to be a good business proposition however I felt like with the cancer reading um, they were gonna you know not wait around and just do it on their own and I feel like with you guys um, it might be a good idea for you to really think if you need a partnership, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like lots of travel, lots of movement. Finances are going to be picking up for those of you who are worried about that or who were in the red and who are, you know, kind of like um, trying to cut corners when it comes to expenditures, okay? I feel like things are going to straighten themselves out for you. It is going to be a very, very busy week. Whenever I have the Ten of Wands, it's almost like, learning to pace yourself okay so that by the end of the work week by the weekend you're not running yourself ragged and sick i've seen it many times in readings where you know you start off the, the week and you're just like going through the motions with work and you're taking on a lot of responsibilities and then friday night rolls around and you you fever over so just be careful about that and you know take care of yourself okay